2024 and foldables are everywhere. Samsung has released its sixth generation foldable phone and Google, OnePlus and others have also joined the foldable game. So why is Apple missing out on this party? And why haven't they made a foldable phone yet? Most Android fans would say, Android is always way ahead of Apple. And Apple fans would say that Apple is going to release one soon and it's always going to be late, but be the best. And then Samsung and Google will rush to copy what it did. But who do you think is right? What if I told you that I think that neither of these is right and the answer is something that makes total sense when you start by understanding Apple's overall objective as a company and I mean the same objective of any good company which is of course to maximize its profits whilst keeping its customers happy. Apple's overall revenue in 2023 was just under a mind-boggling 400 billion dollars and almost half of this was just the iPhone. Here's a really nice visual graphic to see the split. So they make roughly 200 billion from the iPhone and by the way to do that they ship about 230 million iPhones every year and as you can see this isn't a one-off. Its revenue from the iPhone has been about half of its total revenues for many years, sometimes even more. So what's the secret to these high earnings? Is it the new features that they release every year? Is it the camera upgrades? Or is it the addition of revolutionary new hardware like a button? No, the secret is something boring but powerful. Consistency. Apple makes the same dependable, fine-tuned, familiar, easy to use iPhone each year. Yes, with refinements and upgrades, but they keep the code the same every year. While everyone calls this boring, Apple is really smart. It doesn't go about messing with the form factor or completely changing the UI. It keeps things familiar to intentionally exploit what is called the status quo bias. The status quo bias is where people tend to stick with what they already have and are familiar with versus trying something completely different. Now this begs the question, why not give people a choice? Can't Apple keep selling the iPhone and side by side develop a second type of form factor that could be huge for them just like the iPhone? Let's explore this for a minute. It's not like Apple has never tried another form factor. It used to have only one size of iPhone but a few years ago it launched a larger form factor now called the Plus or the Pro Max. So why wouldn't they try a fold form factor? Is it because they don't have the technology? On the contrary, it seems they do. They have so many foldable related patterns. In fact, they have one which includes a self-healing foldable display that could repair minor dents and scratches on its own and maybe even remove that annoying crease that all foldable devices have today? No. I don't think it's that they don't have the technology. I think the simple reason that they haven't launched this form factor yet is that the market still isn't big enough. Yes, whilst all the tech world and enthusiasts like you and me are all buzzing about the foldable phones, it's a surprisingly small part of the overall market for smartphones. In 2024, for example, the market for foldable phones is expected to be just 15 to 20 million units. That's the estimate for the global market. Samsung and Huawei make up 80% of this market already. Let's say Apple enters and does really well and grabs say 25% of this market. That's three to five million units of this phone per year. Compared to Apple's overall 230 million units of iPhone each year, that's only one to two percent which is super small even for a very aggressive assumption of 25%. In fact, Apple has recently cancelled an iPhone form factor which only got them a few percentage points of its iPhone sales. Yep, that form factor is the iPhone mini which at last count was actually larger at about 3% of its sales. So is that it? Is that the answer to why Apple's waiting and watching to see if the category becomes big enough to play in? Well, partially yes, but I believe there's another reason which is backed up by some emerging evidence and rumors that Apple is not only thinking about how to play in the foldable smartphones category, but thinking beyond that into a bigger playing field that currently kind of only Apple plays in and hence they have a big ingoing advantage on. Do you know what it is? I think that it might be this incredibly cheap $20 polishing cloth. It already folds, my friend. So if you think about it, Apple was the true pioneer of foldables. Moving on from that bad joke, I think that this category is actually the iPad. The latest news from Apple analyst Jeff Poo indicates that Apple believes the bigger potential might be for a foldable iPad which makes it kind of a hybrid Mac iPad kind of device. 
Can you imagine the large 18 inch all screen iPad or Mac or whatever you want to call it that can be folded up into a keyboard to use like a regular Mac when needed and then open back up into a massive 18 inch iPad whenever needed? That definitely sounds intriguing to me. And if it's intriguing to you, then watch my video on why I think Apple might not even sell the MacBook in 10 years from now because it all starts to come together. See you there.